Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sean Parmada. You're watching another Discord JS video where I show you guys how you can code your own Discord bot using Discord JS. So you're watching the second part to the mute command episode, where I showed you guys how you can make a mute and unmute command. So in the previous part, I showed you guys how you can make a mute and unmute command. So it's basically if we type mute followed by user, it will mute that user. And then if we type unmute followed by the user will unmute that user so this is fairly simple right so now we're going to take this to the next level and we're going to add a timer to this so basically we can type mute user for a certain period of time so let's say one minute so after that time has elapsed after one minute has elapsed the bot will automatically unmute the user to do this we have to first of all install some packages so we're going to go to our terminal and type npm install ms so once it has installed the necessary packages for ms we have to type at the top of the code const ms is equal to requires open parentheses single quotation mark ms close quotation marks and parentheses and semicolon so basically what that does is it's making a constant ms which will help us keep track of our timers so the next thing basically the mute command is a hybrid command so basically it either checks if there's a second argument present so if there's a second argument present which is the time limit for the mute it will run in a mode which will automatically unmute the user after the time has elapsed. But if there's no time limit present and if there's no second argument present, the bot will assume that the moderator or whoever else is running the command wants to mute the user indefinitely. So to get started with the time mute command, what we're going to do over here, the bottom of this, we're going to type time. So basically what that does is if it will check if there's a second argument or not. And if there isn't a second argument, it will basically run the normal command. We're going to just simply copy this and paste it right there and format that so and then instead of doing it this way we're going to run it opposite what we did in the unmute command so instead of removing the main rule we're going to remove the mute rule and then we're going to add the main rule and then once that's done and we just want to exit out of all this f statement so we're going to just type return and now to setting the actual timer, so over here, we're going to type set timeout, which is our event, and then we're going to use a function. So it's function and then time. So over here, we're simply going to copy this and then paste it here. And similar to the unmute command, we're going to remove the mute rule and then add the main rule. And then just to close this, we're going to type the, over here, we're going to type comma ms args one. Okay, now we, what we want to do is just over here where we're doing message.channel.send, we just want to make this more fancy and make this more elaborate and then we're going to show, we want to display to everyone in the server how long the user has been muted for including a second argument. So over here we're going to go type has been muted for and then we're going to do dollar sign parentheses ms and another ms inside of that and then args and then close that. So, and then to make this little bit fancy, just bold it, bold the statement there. So basically now it's going to be doing a message dot channel set sent. So here's the moderator and the user that you mentioned has been muted for the duration of the mute. So if we save this and then we run the bot windows piece dot and then we go to our discord server and then we type I just type a normal command so without the timer I'll just type mute dot dummy account so as you can see right here the dummy account in fact did get muted however the bot did not send a message in the server saying the dummy account got muted that is because over here we do not write message dot channel dot send the user has muted so we can just simply copy that so that's no problem so simply copy that paste that right here and close that and if we save that now and then run the bot again we'll not space dot and if we uh, we first have to unmute the dummy account, so unmute dummy account, dummy account has been unmuted. And now if we type mute dummy account, dummy account has been muted. So that was what we covered in the previous episode. So now if we go over here, and now if we type mute dummy account, okay, we have to first of all also unmute the dummy account again. So now if we type mute dummy account and followed by a time limit such as 10 seconds, it says dummy account has been muted for 10 seconds. So if we just wait for 10 seconds, it will automatically unmute the dummy account. So as you can see right now, dummy account 
got unmuted in 10 seconds. So the argument, that the second argument that you're passing, which is the time limit, don't space it out. So if you're saying if you want to mute a certain user for like two days, like if they violated a, a pretty big rule, like don't write mute dummy account two days. Just type 2D. And then similarly, if you want to mute someone for a week, type one week, a month, one M, one year, one Y, and so on and so on. Okay, so if we type now mute dummy account for one minute, you can see the dummy account is muted for one minute. So basically, that's really it to the time mute command. So before I end this video, I want to first of all talk about some important stuff. So first of all, what we did right here is where we um, defined the main roles and our mute role. That is very specific to our own individual server, to this server right here, this tutorial server. And if we add this bot to another server and then we try running this mute and unmute command, it will not work because chances are that the other servers that you're adding the, your bot to will not have the same exact role called member and muted. So in that case, what you have to do is you have to create a database where the bot can store the different types of roles that there are and that the admin of that server can define which role is the member role and which is the muted role for the bot to understand. So if you want me to make a video on that, do let me know in the comment section below. So anyways, this is how you can create a mute and unmute command for your own Discord bot. It's very simple and hopefully this video helped you. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll gladly help. And that's it for this video. And as you can see, the dummy account has been actually unmuted. And if we check the audit logs real quickly, as you can see, updated roles for dummy account, added member, removed muted. So time mute command indeed does in fact work. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.